Some of you guys that watch the channel know that I would carve for a hobby and currently I've been getting a lot of questions about uh, my carvings and how to buy them and what they are so I'm just going to take you a little tour of what I'm doing because I don't really have a web page set up or anything. Basically a lot of these I do are small pieces like candlesticks and they all glow in the dark so you can get an idea of kind of what they look like when the lights are off. But I do put them locally. There's some big ones that I put out at a cafe locally here. But since the cafes are closed, you know, they are not selling either. So let me show you a little tour here. So little candlesticks like this. Um, remember these are candle holders. Most of them glow in the dark. They run $35. They're usually made of white pine. You can get a little idea of the old man ones I do. The... Uh, wood spirits. I'll show you a few more. This is a, a mushroom also glows in the dark. There's a morel and a bioluminescent one behind it. And this again is on white pine bark. Although I'm kind of getting low on those. It's also a candlestick. Those are 35. I also have candlesticks in birch. So these birch ones run 35 as well. So any sort of candlestick is 35, but if you want that bark look, I can do that for you too. They're a little smaller. You can get a better idea. And again, the most popular things are wood spirits. And if you want them to glow or not, just let me know. I finish them different ways. Some are stained, some are burned, some have poly, some don't, and some glow in the dark, which you already know about. But a lot of them are either birch or white pine. When I do birch, I try to leave the bark on some so you can see it. And you kind of give an idea how I start to create them. And there's an incense holder too there. I do those. And here I'm doing a jellyfish. And you can get an idea that what he looks like when he glows. Because jellyfish like to glow. The other thing I did was a old school paper moon. And I made a video about this. The vintage moons. And also, I, how could a moon not glow in the dark? So everything glows in the dark because it's cool. I also have experimented with some owls and animals and uh, my mushrooms are really popular because people seem to like buying those. Um, I've even done some custom pieces. This was my first rabbit and you can see a video about that. <laughs> that was a big challenge and pretty fun. And then I do just some quirky stuff like I do aliens because people like aliens and uh, those also of course glow in the dark. and. Again, um, people are real crazy about morel mushrooms, so I do different kinds of morels. I usually combine them with some sort of bioluminescent deal, uh, although morels don't glow, but these guys do. This is a real bioluminescent mushroom that was based on. Then we jump up to my medium-sized pieces. These run anywhere from $25 to $50, depending on what's going on with them. There's kind of like a tiki guy, but... And uh, here he glows in the dark, but this is upside down. I can't seem to figure out how to flip it. And you can also get like a half face, which I think these are kind of cool where they come out of the wood. And also a custom piece. This is for somebody's wedding anniversary. They just got married. So if you want those kind of custom things. This is a protective ward. Right here, this is a ward that uh, wards off illness and disease. Kind of important right now. I have this in my office. And this is made out of a campfire log. This is a medium one. They run anywhere from $50 to $80, depending how elaborate they get. Because these something like this takes me a long time to carve that out. If you just want like a face, it's a lot cheaper without a ward in it. You can tell me what kind of ward you want, or symbol, or initials, or whatever. I'm pretty... With custom, I'll, I'll see what I can do, and I'll price it out for you. So you get an idea how big it is. I also do hand carved signs. Here's a hairdresser who has an owl logo. And uh, this runs anywhere from 100 to 500 bucks, depending on how big. Um, I do wards and kind of things also that smoke. Um, like this guy here, he actually is an incense holder where he blows smoke out of his mouth. Those are a little more elaborate. I usually charge another five, ten dollars for that. And uh, protective wards. So this is a Celtic knot or a witch's knot. And of course it glows in the dark. And this particular one is uh, a candle holder and an incense, where the incense flows down and burns around it, the smoke, and it also glows. And then I do large pieces, like this totem here. This guy has four different faces in it, and he 
has uh, he's made a red cedar. This is much more time consuming. These pieces run from $125 to $200. If you want a specific totem with like your animals or or wood spirits, like if you like faces like this, I can do that as well. Just got to give me an idea. Um, these are pretty elaborate, so depending on the custom order, they take a while. And that's what it looks like glowing. Also, I do custom wands. So I thought I'd share with you a couple custom orders of wands that I made. So some people contacted me about doing a wand. The first one I did was, this is out of red cedar, so you can see the red in the outside of the cedar, the brown. This is actually a triple spiral that comes to a point. And that was really hard to do. You can kind of see the triple here. This was a big experimental piece. It's a pretty neat little wand. Uh, no stone mounted in it, just because they wanted au naturel. Uh, here is a heavy duty wand. This is a hybrid. It is a part wand, part knife. Also out of red cedar, so it's got that contrast of dark and light wood, like that mystic looking wood. And here at the end, um, it actually has a point that is very sharp and a little bit of a blade. And all this is wrapped in with uh, real sterling silver wire. So you can see that. And these are, I think, the selenite, which uh, are very purifying stone. They're all wrapped in as well. Um, and this on the tip is obsidian. So this is a contrast. This whole thing is black and white. So you have, <clears throat> you know, the black and white, two colors, also dark and, and light wood. And uh, this is also a wand or a knife because you could definitely do something with that. This one is made with uh, birch. And this is a piece of birch out of my own yard, actually. So you got the uh, triple spiral thing going on all over it. And there's citrine, citrine quartz on the base to gather power. Then you go all the way up to the tip. And it's got an amethyst tip that's wired in there. But what you can really see is there's the, I think it's called a triskin, right? The triple spiral thing. Yeah. But amethyst wand. This one has a really nice feel to it. It's good weight. I like this one. This is one I'm making. I haven't finished it, but I'm thinking about making like a fire, water, air, and uh, earth wand, like all four elements. This is going to be my fire wand because I'm burning it, if you haven't noticed. This is out of birch. I'll probably put a fire symbol on here and somehow set a stone in if I can. And then uh, I haven't picked it. I have to figure out what a fire stone is. I'll have to go look at the research figure that out. The next thing, uh, this is for Amanda Dunn, which if you don't know her YouTube channel, you can go over there and practice your psychic, your tarot card readings, so I should say. Uh, this is a moon, uh, a moon altar. So what you do is you take this moonstone, and depending on the moon, uh, what phase it's in, you put that on there and then put your intention or whatever you're going to do. So there's full moon, the new moon, and the other moons there. So you move this around to where you want it and then do the intention. The thing about this though is it glows in the dark so you can charge it up and then take it out into the moonlight. I'll show you a picture of it here charging. So that's going over to Amanda. So say hi to her channel. Go check out her channel. This is also a custom altar made out of a piece of red cedar. It's pretty big. It's almost two feet. Uh, it has multiple candles in it, 13 candles. You can um, put tarot cards up to, I believe, 11 you can put across the board. It's got uh, areas that touch the, the red cedar inside where you can see the amethyst and, and the obsidian sitting on. There's also an incense holder built in, but there's no incense in this. You can't really see it. Anyway, I do custom altars like this if you're interested. Uh, they run anywhere from $125 to $300, depending on how elaborate you want them. And you can see kind of on the back side, uh, as you burn the candles in, they will set better. The holes the candles mount in are burnt, so to protect it from catching the log on fire. But I still recommend maybe you put a little foil in there or something just to be safe. 
So contact me if you want something custom like that. Hopefully this gives you a little better idea of my skill level and, and what I can make. So just contact me if you want something custom or you like any of these pieces, just just you know give me the minute mark and there's a good chance I still have them for sale. I, I was just making these as a hobby. I wasn't really planning on selling them, but with the new world like it is, I need to. Just look for my email in the description below. And that's my direct email. You just contact me with any questions or ideas you have. I really appreciate all your help and uh, I appreciate you guys. Thank you.